Hello everybody, time for a Saturday shave. <clears throat> Today I'm going to use what can I pick first, I'll pick this one. Wild West Shaving Company's uh, Billy the Kid uh, Shaving Soap. It is a pass around. I took a bit of it and smashed it into this bowl. Very nice scent. My wife didn't like it, but I liked it very much. I'm gonna finish with Pinot Clarman. I don't know if it match, but ah, doesn't matter. I love Pinot Clarman. The brush today, my synthetic uh, walnut brush. And um, this razor today. Uh, Vex Sexto Blade. Uh, it's a really nice razor, in my opinion a little bit heavier, um, feels almost like a straight razor in your hand. Your blades, you just take the blade and uh, put it in the groove here and just push it all the way like that and it's secured and everything's really nice. And the blade of today is, uh, is blades that I got from uh, Frank Strum by the Shark. Sent me, oh sorry, <laughs> sent me these uh, Kismet blades. Uh, I really like them very much. I have used this this razor, uh, this blade here. It's my third use. I used it Monday and Tuesday this week, so this is my third use, and uh, I like them very much. Very smooth blades, uh, much more smoother than uh, Persona hair shaper blades. Uh, I'd love them very much. Uh, we shall see if it works really good this time too. Just gonna tip the brush and start to bang the bowl. We shall see how this ladder will work. It's a very brownish, uh, dark soap. I think the latter will be more a cappuccino. Light brown we shall see. Just gonna add a little bit more water. I know that these uh, wild wash shaving companies uh, really need a lot of water. I have tried another one. I think the elixir number two and uh, I love them very much. Really good soaps. Nice Scent, nice ladder. Okay, I <clears throat> think I'm organized now. <laughs> Everything on the right place. Just paint it on first, as I usually do, and then I'm gonna add some water. Been at my work a couple of hours now and today, and uh, nice to do it on the Saturday, so you have a whole Sunday free. I don't like to work on my weekends, but sometimes you just have to. I think we have enough water. So we shall see how good this ladder will be today. If you're new, look at my videos. I often do straight razor shapes, but sometimes I do chevette shapes and uh, de shapes. But straight razor shapes is my my. I don't know the word. Sorry, <laughs> I like straight straight razor shapes. I do appreciate. I uh, think I have to add a little bit more water. <clears throat> I do appreciate. Uh, the shaves and uh, shaves too, but uh, straight razor shaves is 
for me the best type of equipment to use it doesn't mean that you like it so much then that so much that oh, i shouldn't start talk at all <laughs> it doesn't mean that you like it because i like it it's just something i enjoy very much and that's something you have to keep in mind if you're new or you are uh, experienced wet shaver oh maybe i can't say that i almost slipped with my hand If someone says that you should use this soap or you should use this uh, equipment, depends on what you uh, what you think about it. It's the most important. It doesn't mean that if I like straight razors, you have to like it. The nice thing about this Kishnet blade for me the edge feels like a straight razor for me it's sharp, really sharp but in the same time very very smooth as you saw maybe some bit weepers but if that's, this would be a Chevetta I would uh, immediately get uh, a cut because I'm not so used to use Chevettas and I can tell you it's sharp I have a bump here all the bumps and everything disappears when you use a Chevette. But it's this is really nice. I like it very much. Very smooth. All my edges are on my straight races. Not all, but all the edges I do or I put on these straight races. I use a Japanese natural stone, and they always gives uh, very 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 smooth edge. Um, you can see there what comes a little bit blood here. It's not the blade, it's not the Shveta, it was me. <laughs> Let's do the second pass. Yeah, there was a Swedish guy actually contacted me uh, on Messenger. He told me that he has problem getting his straight razor shape shaped sharp. He has bought some stones and um, trying to hone them up. But it doesn't work, he says. So he asked me if I could open one straight razor for him and he even told me that he's learning some things from my videos and I think it's really really fun to hear I don't know anything about this guy I know he's come from northern of north of Sweden, and uh, he just wanted me to try to not not try. He asked me if I could shape and sharpen his 
or hone his razors, a one razor. And I said, send it to me and I will try to do it. I'm not a professional honer and I don't know if I got an edge enough, but I said, just send it, so I will try. And he's going to send me his razor. And I hope I can hone it so it works. feels really nice and he said he has had some problem with some parts of I don't know if it was here or where it was but uh, he said he looked at my videos and looked how I do and uh, when I'm explaining how I do my skin stretching and skin puffing and bending my head and so on so on he said after looking at my videos, he managed to get a clean shave at, at the specific point and I think it's marvelous, it's really fun to hear that people actually look at my videos and listen to what I'm saying. It doesn't mean that I have uh, right every time, but you always have to listen to other people's too and see what works and try new things. Just because I do certain strokes, it doesn't mean that it works for you. It's always something you have to try out yourself. I have said so many times, I said even one more time, everyone does different things. There is not two straight razor shavers or two these shavers that do the same strokes, the same thing. It's just something you have to learn. Depends on how your skin growth, uh, beer growth, what technique you use. And that's, I got 24 hours of growth and it feels, <laughs> feels actually BBS. <laughs> and the scent on this uh, is actually really, really nice. Can't really explain it, but I'm just going to rinse. I'm just going to take some alum, just a moment. All in on my wet face and uh, just let the alum block, rinse the alum block on the water and you get enough moisture to rub it on your skin. I feel the mix you have done. I know that when I'm using Chevette or even these Kismet blades and this razor um, I almost every time, this time I got a uh, weeper here because I, it was a mistake I flipped it in my hand and that wasn't supposed to happen but sometimes it happens and uh, that's something you just have to learn from your mistakes but I always get some kind of small small nicks and bumps because uh, when you use a straight oh when I use a straight straight razor 
I think it's much, much more smoother, but when I use a chevette or uh, this blade, it's always giving me some small uh, nicks. Nothing that can, you don't see it, but this was a bump that I just got rid of. <laughs> if I used a straight razor, it doesn't take that bump away so easily. So they are much more, what can I say, not aggressive, but uh, they are much more sharper. Just gonna rinse. That felt really nice. Thank you, Frank, for this beautiful blades. I love them very much. Uh, much, much more better than the hash shaper blades. And hash shaper blades are really sharp, a really nice blade, but this is actually even better. And this beautiful Pinot Lamar. I just love the scent. It's really nice. And the scent actually is much, much more better, better if I wait 15, 20 minutes. Oh, feels really, really good. <laughs> okay, that was the shave. Uh, and I thank you very much for watching my videos, everyone that's subscribing my videos and everyone that's watching and commenting. I do appreciate it, it very, very, very much. And uh, I hope we can see you next time, whenever it happens sometime in the future. I hope you all gonna have a beautiful weekend and see you next time. Bye-bye.